Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Setup Wars. We're going to be kicking the guys to the side and taking a look at some awesome grill setups for once. I'm actually hoping by the end of next week the gender ratio changes quite a bit because right now it's a sausage fest on the channel. And God damn it, I'm tired of it. My own wife isn't even subscribed to my channel, so hopefully after she finds out about this episode, she can join the TechSource team. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let the setup wars begin. Now that I got all the guys' attention, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. They created the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit that makes manscaping safe and easy. I mean, their slogan says it the best. Everything you see here is a part of their new Perfect Package 3.0 kit, which includes everything you need to take your grooming routine to the next level. You get hair and body wash, ball toner, and most importantly, ball deodorant. You use deodorant for your armpits, right? So why not use a deodorant for the smelliest part of your body? My personal favorite, however, is the Lawnmower 3.0. Get it? Because you're mowing the lawn. Super sexy ergonomic design with quality ceramic blades built with advanced skin safe technology, which means no nicks and snags guaranteed. So when you purchase the new Perfect Package 3.0 kit by clicking the link below, you get the most bang for your buck. As a subscriber, you get 20% savings on your order instantly, a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, and two gifts, a pretty sweet travel bag and super comfy boxer briefs. So make sure to visit manscaped.com or click the link below and use the code TechSaurus at checkout to get your 20% off and free shipping. Kicking off the episode, we have Brittany from Florida and her super cozy custom office setup that broke the internet. I don't know what's more cool, the actual setup or her occupation. She works in a pathology lab where she dissects human organs for cancer and does autopsy. That's a pretty cool job. So this entire setup was built from scratch and it's used for pretty much everything from gaming to streaming, content creation and video editing. Brittany decided to go with a cubicle design for her setup so that it fits in her office and it's actually very creative on how she set this up. So let's start dissecting it. First off, all three countertops are made out of melamine boards which she cut to fit dimensions of her office and then she skinned them in bamboo wallpaper to give it a nice look and feel. She also added cable raceways at the edge of the countertops and put RGB strips inside. That's actually the first time I've seen that on the show, very creative. All three of the desks are being supported by two IKEA Besta units which are mounted against the wall which gives off a nice floating design. The other two sides of the tables are being supported by an Alex drawer for her main setup and a dresser for the other. I gotta say I'm really loving the layout over here. So the main setup has dual Alienware monitors that are mounted against a headboard. So the headboard is actually from Ikea. It's the Linman tabletop that she used for both the headboards in her setup with an Ikea lac shelf up top. She has three keyboards in the entire setup, two of which are custom built. We got the Alienware AW768 with custom keycaps and a custom 60% keyboard up top. I do love those blank keycaps and the acrylic case combo with RGB lighting. It looks really cool. For audio, she's got Logitech speakers that are also mounted on the headboard with the subwoofer mounted against the wall underneath the desk. When she's streaming, she would use the HyperX Cloud 2s with the Blue Yeti microphone that's mounted on the wall shelf. Okay, so that's the main setup where she streams on Twitch and edits her videos. It's currently being powered by her new semi water cool PC that she just built a few weeks ago inside the Thermaltake Core P3 case. We got the Ryzen 7 2700X and the EVGA GTX 1080. It looks like we got a bit of a Stormtroopers vibe going on here with a full 10 inch display which she uses to monitor her system temps. Now the setup adjacent to her main one is used for console gaming with a 35 inch Vizio TV. She does have an Xbox that she stores in the cabinet but she doesn't use it as much as her PS4 Slim that's on top of the shelf. I really love how she designed this area with organization in mind. She has a place to store her games and her camera gear along with the controllers which are mounted against the headboard. You can see how much planning and attention to detail went into designing this setup and I love it. And finally, the third setup is for her laptop and watching videos. She has a 65 inch Samsung TV mounted against the wall so she can cozy up in her gaming chair and watch videos with her dog. There's even a drop down projector which doubles as window blinds. I mean this setup has lots of creativity and personality, I absolutely love it and I think she did a great job balancing the lighting across the entire setup. 
Brittany, congratulations on receiving the 23rd seal of approval. I know you're watching, so toss me a DM on Twitter to claim your prize. Congratulations. Up next is Helen from Germany and her setup. All right, so she's using a corner desk setup with two Linman tabletops and two Alex drawers with a center storage unit for support. She did keep the surface very clean and organized and decided to mount both monitors and even the speakers on a desk mount, but doing so leaves that entire right side of the desk kind of empty. For peripherals, we got the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with brown switches paired with the M65 Pro RGB mouse. I'm guessing the reason why she put the PC in the corner like that is to avoid blocking off the right speaker. And it actually looks better that way because you can still see inside the PC and the cables are hidden against the wall. Speaking of cables, everything seems to be managed well underneath here with the help of a few cable clips and velcro straps. I do love the small modifications that Helen did underneath the desk like adding an optical drive inside the storage unit, very clever, and a USB hub on the side of the drawer. But what I really want to know is where you got that barber chair from. That looks like something a mafia leader sits in as he's negotiating deals with other gangsters. The only thing that slightly bothers me about this setup is having those two monitors at different heights. But overall, it's not a bad setup. I feel like it's organized really well with some personality to spice it up. Thank you, Helen, for entering. And number three is Maria from Germany with our very first quad display setup of the episode. So she's using the ASUS PG278Q as the main gaming monitor, supplemented by two 23 inches from Philips and a 21 inch from BenQ up top as an overhead. She says she uses the setup mainly for gaming with the occasional studying for her university. Holy hell, that is a hell of a setup for just gaming and schoolwork. For peripherals, she's rocking the Razer Black Widow Chroma Keyboard and the Razer Naga Mouse with a Firefly mouse pad. And for audio, she's got the Razer Krakens resting on top of a BM800 microphone, which is hooked up to the side of the desk. Cable management is definitely not the highlight of this setup. While I do appreciate the effort of using Velcro straps and cable boxes to hide the power strips, the rest of the cables seem to have been neglected. And finally, the PC powering the setup has a 4770K with 32 gigs of RAM and the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Okay, so here's the issue I have with this setup. Overall, it's lacking synergy, and I can't help but feel like it's coming across as a makeshift setup. In other words, it looks like Maria used what gear she had to put together a setup real quickly. It's not a bad thing. Now, obviously, not everyone can go out and buy brand new gear for their setup. I'm just here to offer you my two cents for whatever it's worth. Now, if this was my setup, I would have used a different desk altogether because I feel like that backhand corner desk doesn't really add any utility for this type of setup, especially if you still end up putting the PC on the floor and you didn't even take advantage of the cable net. There are far better and cheaper alternatives that will not only improve the aesthetics of your setup, but will also provide a lot of utility. For example, here's a quick simple desk layout that took me 5 minutes to put together. A 60 inch Linman Alex combo so you can center your quad displays and a smaller 47 inch Linman table in the corner for your PC and microphone. This entire setup costs only 156 bucks compared to your 279 single backhand desk. Or alternatively, you can pick up a nice 96 inch countertop with a couple of legs and an Alex drawer for a total of $280, which is the same price of the backhand, but you not only get much larger surface to keep all your gear on, but you also get extra storage. The desk is gonna be large enough to even fit your second PC that you have on the other side. I don't know why, but I'm itching really badly to come over and give your setup a makeover. You already have the gear, you're just missing the execution. It's a good setup with room for improvement. Thank you, Maria, for entering. Speaking of execution, coming in at number four is a beautiful white themed minimalistic setup by Michael. She's a high school student who likes to do photography and graphic design, so she built this setup around that. It's a productivity setup that's being powered by a 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro that's being beautifully displayed on a stand with some dbrand skins. 
She went with the wireless keyboard and mouse to keep things super clean and minimalistic and I just love how neat and tidy everything is. I gotta give her points on staying consistent to the color scheme. From the phone stand to the speakers, even the monitor blends in with the setup's theme. She also has a Samsung TV mounted on the side for console gaming and watching Netflix. I like that I'm able to tell a lot about the person just by looking at their setup and this one is a perfect example of that. It's always the little things like the camera underneath the monitor and the pencil holder that's shaped like a lens. All of that contributes to her personality and passion. I especially love the world map that she has on the wall indicating all the places that she has been. A super simple and clean minimalistic setup that just works. Thank you Michael for entering and good luck with everything. I hope you follow your passion and make all your dreams a reality. Wrapping up the episode, we have Nicole and her pink Razer gaming setup. So she's a part-time bartender and student, so when she's not hustling, she's relaxing and spending time gaming and streaming on Twitch. She's rocking two Alienware 240Hz monitors that are hooked up on the desk, surrounded by a sea of Razer gear. Obviously the theme is black and pink, so she's stuck with the Quartz series from Razer to stay consistent throughout. We got the Huntsman keyboard, Basilisk mouse, and an extended Chroma mouse pad Quartz edition, which I didn't even know existed up until now. In fact, the only thing that's not Razer is the soundbar. She opted for the Sound Blaster X Katana instead of the Razer Leviathan. She does, however, use headphones, the Kraken's Quartz edition resting on the Razer base station. She does have a set of metal leaf panels above the setup and you can kind of see the cable coming down the wall. The rest of the cables are managed decently thanks to the mom desk having a built-in rack and the entire setup is being powered by Beast Custom PC inside the O11 Dynamic Case from Liam Lee. It's packing the 9900K and MSI RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio graphics card with custom backplate and sag bracket from V1 Tech. I can recognize that from anywhere. As awesome as the setup is, I'm a little concerned with that monitor layout. Since the right one is the main display, the left one kind of needs to be at an angle so it's closer to your eyes without having you lean in. With this layout, I'm sure you're having a little difficulty looking at the edge of the left monitor since it's so far out. Also, I feel like the headset kind of seems cramped between the monitor and the PC. I get that you want to showcase it on your desk because it matches the rest of your gear, but you can easily make room for it if you scoot your monitors to the left a bit and angle the second monitor so it's kind of hovering over the desk slightly. This will not only give your headset extra space, but it will be a lot more comfortable gaming and streaming. You know, I haven't seen a fully decked out Razer setup in a while. So thank you, Nicole, for entering and good luck with school. If you guys want to check her out on Twitch, I'll drop a link to her channel down below. And that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, you guys can vote in the comment section on who has the best desk setup and let me know why. Or you can click on the poll on the top right and cast your vote there. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the show, make sure to toss a like and I will see your beautiful faces in the next one.